Have you ever wondered how hard it would be to do everything in Final Fantasy XIV? Well, last year I decided to put that to the test and see if me, the most average player in existence, can do it. We've still got a ton left to do and the hardest grinds are yet to come, so let's see if I can 100% FFXIV before I inevitably lose my will to live. Alright, as we're getting into 2023, I want to make a quick update at the beginning here, and I say quick because I've tried to record this twice and I've taken way too long. Um, the focus of the series right now is mounts. We want to try to get every single mount possible, but as you can expect, the later on in the series we get, the slower it's going to be to get each mount, and there are certain mounts in the game, especially the hunt mounts, where even if you sit down and you're only doing them, it's going to take you a long time to do it, and it's just sitting next to an aetherite waiting for hunts to be called or sitting in hunt trains. It is not interesting for the series, and it's something that I could do past while I'm working on other grinds uh, for other completionist stuff. So I've made this goal. We are going to be shooting for 80% of mounts uh, for the series this year. And once we hit that, we're going to pivot our focus towards, I think, minions right now, but I might think it out and, and decide if that's what I want to do. But pivot towards something different while still working on the mounts in the background and giving updates as they pop up, but this is not going to be the focus of the series. So I just want to put that at the beginning. Uh, we are still trying to get as much, uh, as close to completionist as we can, close to doing everything as we can possibly, but I just don't want the series to stagnate too much. Let me know what you think about that, if that sounds good. I know I could just focus generally on completionist stuff, but I like having the, the one count, the one uh, focus sort of thing, and, and seeing that progress rather than having a bunch of like, this is how many achievement points I have, this is how many mounts I have, this is how many minions. I want, want to be a little bit more focused. So because I have a couple of days before I'm taking a week off to spend some time with family, I didn't really want to get into too many big grinds or, or start focusing on something new right now. So in the meanwhile, while I was waiting around, I was doing a lot of Eureka, just hoping to get really lucky on one of the two mounts. We did get a gold chest, but there was nothing exciting inside. Big surprise. The other thing that happened was, last video, I went and got the first of two kills I needed for Ixion. And just so happened, as I was about ready to go on holiday and take a week off, someone pinged it on Discord that Ixion had spawned again and was ready to be killed. So I had to rush to my computer and go do that. I guess this is the place you get Ixion at. I have a sneaking suspicion. Um, I don't know which one of the options it is, though. Um, but, 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 but wondrous sundries probably. All right, let's summon. Is the, I was literally laying around in bed, and it's the danger of having the Faloop uh, set up so that it pings you whenever certain stuff happens. Uh, I just had to, like roll out of bed and and then do that. I was just trying to chill. So either way, oh my gosh, yeah, I forgive for getting mounts like are sized based on your character size. So they're they're so tiny. It's so cute actually. Anyways. This is kind of the fun fun thing sometimes with amount farming is when you get a bunch of people together and uh, we're all just having a good time. That's why I've enjoyed the FC events a whole bunch. Uh, but yeah, so that is the final fate mount and probably the last mount I'm going to get before going on holiday. Um, I thought that the Wyver was going to be the last one, but all the fate mounts are completed now. That section is completely greened out. Um, this Ixion's really cool looking. Like, really, really cool looking, honestly. Really, like, I mean, it, it's literally just the, the fate uh, enemy, but mount form, but still. Really neat. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't get this before, but I'm happy that I got lucky and it popped twice recently. So, I uh, have that knocked out now. We are sitting at 99 mounts. <laughs> I wish I could have gotten 100 before I went on holiday. Unfortunately, we got a little bit unlucky with getting... Uh, uh, anything from the boxes we opened up otherwise we'd be there by now but 100 mounts soon very next thing we get uh, i don't think it'll be anything special uh, i don't i don't know exactly what it's gonna be we'll see uh, but either way cool all right this might be last time you get a clip from me for a while it'll be like a couple seconds for you it'll be an entire week for me it's been gold maybe it is gold actually Didn't get it. <laughs> I hate this game. Why? Why? I just... 
I again like the gold coffers so so like generously. Like the game's been so so generous with the golden coffers and I get like nothing from it. No amount. I think the rate for the gold coffers is 10%, so like every 10 coffers you get from doing this fate, one of them will be a gold coffer. Um, right now I'm at like 15%, 13, 15%-ish, so like it's not that much higher, but it just feels like I'm getting really lucky because I don't have a lot of, I've not been here very long. Really, this is just a good AFK thing to do while I'm running notes. Um, tomorrow I'll be running uh, the previous Savage tier. So uh, P1 through 4. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm not particularly sure uh, how it's going to shake out, but it'll be fun. This is just kind of an AFK thing to do while I take notes. But tomorrow, kind of going to get everything going for, for mount farming again. going to go for PvP mounts, and that'll kind of be the big focus right now. Uh, trying to push those as well is the the Tyranodon mounts. Um, kind of following after that. I'm still not sure if I want to start focusing on that now and collect things or, or what's going on. I might start using this as an AFK thing. The only, only tough thing is the Diadem and Eureka are both instanced areas. Same thing with Boja. And all of those have mounts, but you can't like queue for PvP and while you're waiting, farm this mount sort of thing. It's, it's since it's instanced, you can't double queue, I guess. Hey, it's B from the editing floor. Uh, so I've got to I got to put my cards on the table a little bit. I I goofed up. I spent some time in Party Finder trying to learn P1, the simplest of the fights, and I I messed up. I recorded two hours of that, as well as recorded three hours of me actually doing P1 through three with my static. And I kept the footage of the Party Finder stuff because I thought it might be useful, but that it was a whole mess. Like everything went wrong. So I went and deleted that footage and uh, I got confused because later on I saw it was still there. So I deleted it again and I think you see where this is going. The thumbnail for both videos is the exact same. So I deleted our clear of P1 through 3. Um, so what are we going to do about that? I have thought of a very creative, uh, some visual aids to help us as we talk about my experience through P1 through 3. All right, we've got P1S here. I was going to just like skip it and be like, oh, this is a, a gimme fight. Like there's basically nothing to it. Um, but I think it's a good fight for like introducing people to Savage. But yeah, it's a fight with like one mechanic in it. Uh, we, we cleared it like first or second try and it wasn't, there was no challenge to it, even as someone that had never done proper Savage before. P2S gets a little bit tougher. Um, there's a flood raid, limit cut, whatever you call it. Someone's going to get mad at me. That's a raider. I don't know what the correct terminology is for. You get numbers above your head. You have to go to places based on the color and number of your number. Um, that one, for whatever reason, it was tough figuring out the exact place to position for that. But other than that, like you can kind of like waddle along with everyone else and be pretty fine for it. So it's a, it's a good step up from P1S, but it's still pretty chill and not super memorable and then we have p3s which is like the big spooky scary fight that i think a lot of people remember from this year uh we actually it partially because our gear is better than what you would have done it with when it was current savage but we didn't have as many issues with it i was the static i'm with did it blind so their strats were different than what i had learned about so like a lot of like transcribing that together was was part of it but uh, learning the ad phase for it, I actually really liked. I, I thought this was a really fun fight. Uh, definitely challenging, uh, but it was really fun. I had a really good time with it. Cool burb, 10 out of 10. I didn't delete the P4S footage, so you will get to see that. Uh, but sorry that we had to do this instead. I'm sure you would have much preferred watching me lay on the ground dead. Is this some kind of twisted joke? Ending off another day of attempts with Eureka, um, one gold coffer, literally nothing inside of it, well, not literally, figuratively nothing inside of it, none of the rare drops, uh, no chance at them out. Um, little, if I wasn't getting so much money from it, I'd be demotivated. <laughs> All right, first gold coffer of the day. Let's see what we get. Probably nothing very exciting. Nothing very exciting. Some materia and some logograms. That's probably about the most boring stuff you can get. But 100k gil. 
every single time. Our cash stack is now at 33 million. We are almost halfway, not quite almost. We're, we're a few million away from being halfway to getting the two extremely expensive mounts. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's the last really big gill purchase I want to make. I don't really want to buy a house or anything, so that's like the last one. Either way. And back from my vacation means back into some more PvP. Uh, right now, I am still series level 16, which is where I stopped off. I've not really done much since coming back, but I do need to get onto it because I am running out of time and I'll be busy with some of the uh, extra side stuff we'll be doing as well, so I need to make sure to get on that. I'm gonna be real honest this match. I thought one of our people DC'd, but it's because we had a Lollafell on our team. All right, now that I've got this goofy outfit on, I can get a title from this, the Disreputable Priest. And when you use that title while doing PvP, there's some mounts associated with it, because there's like a bajillion mounts for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why they give PP so many mounts. I guess it's to get people to do it. I don't know. Either way, uh, I I don't know what it is the last couple of days. I've been tilting real hard doing PvP. Actually, some parts of the outfit look nice. I like the I like the top. Um, the, one of the only uh, eyepieces that the bunny can wear. Doesn't it look great? Don't you love it so much? I got a big old zoom in eye so I can see, look real closely and see who asked. So we got the the title now. And like I said, if I use it in front lines, which is the mass horde of people just running at each other screaming, or if I use it in crystalline conflict, which is the small hordes of people running at each other and screaming and chasing each other halfway across the map for no reason. Uh, if I win, I get, uh, I forget how many wins it is. Let me go check like the professional streamer I am. It's Makai Machinist. Wait, what? I got a minion. I got a Fae Pup. I don't even remember getting this. I apparently got 300 assists, so I get this Fae Pup here. Neat. New minion. Content. There we go. Collection content. Uh, if you get 10 frontline wins while using the title, you get one. If you get 60 wins, you also get one. Or if you get 60 crystalline conflict wins. Or frontline, too. So I should do frontline first, actually. Uh, I'm... I'm, <laughs> it's, it's going to be a while until I win 200 uh, Crystalline Conflict matches because I, I suck, honestly. I'm not great. I do lots of damage, but like I, I can't kill anyone ever. Either way, there's a, there's a lot. There's a lot of... These are all just PvP achievements. Uh, so actually, I'm probably going to start doing some front lines and try to get this one now. So I'm going to go coerce some people into doing that with me. another gold coffer is it gonna be good it's not the mount i hate my life here's my not so fun fact that i just learned apparently silver chests can give the mount i don't know if it's like my guess this is completely just throwing random numbers out i feel like golds probably have like a, a 10 percent chance of giving it and the silvers are maybe like a one percent chance uh, if I if I had to guess, but that's completely just me throwing out random numbers. The fact is, I've not gotten it from either of them, so it doesn't really matter. But it's, that's at least like I can at least be a little bit excited from silver. I don't know if that's the wiki being completely accurate or um, just someone putting incorrect information out there. It, I guess it's false hope, and I can I can use any hope I I can I can get right now. So have I explained the goal of like crystalline conflict at all? I don't think I have. Anyways. Hi, this is Crystalline Conflict. You're in teams of five. What people get put on your teams is random. The actions that you normally play with uh, are switched out for funky PvP actions, because otherwise uh, balance would be like impossible to maintain and it'd be very weird. Um, but the goal is there's this funky crystal over there. And our goal is to push the crystal to the enemy's base uh, if time runs out. So I think it's like a four minute timer. Uh, then uh, whoever has the furthest distance wins. You can go to overtime if someone is actively pushing the crystal and is behind. Um, but yeah, I'm playing the casual mode. There's ranked, which I honestly am not good enough for and it's not necessary for anything I'm trying to do, so.
Oh, that's an enemy. Wait, where's our team? Oh, they all died. Okay. I don't know how we all got rocked like that, but <laughs> everyone just kind of disappeared. I was too busy, like, struggling to target the correct person. Oh, there's another machinist. I'm just going to try to kill them. That's it. That's the goal. I, I've made up my own game with this game. The game within the game. The game within the game, really. Which is, uh, if there's a machinist on the other team, I I will. I must snipe them at least once. They must feel the suffering of getting sniped. I know this is going to immediately cut to me getting sniped by the, um, the machinist on the other team. I know that's what's going to happen. Where's their, where's their, where's their machinist? I got to find them. There they are. No, I didn't get to snipe them because we want to quickly. No, I didn't even do that much damage. No. Oh, I don't get to have fun. There's one dragoon that got just like completely slaughtered me. Not that dragoon, but there's a dragoon that completely slaughtered me. And I've been like anxiously seeing if he's on my team or on the other team all these times. Not that dragoon either. Oh, there's a machinist though, as we know. If there's a machinist on the other team, our goal in life is to snipe them before they snipe us. Okay, where's the machinist? Where's the machinist? Where's the machinist? There it is. It? That's so rude. Not an it, they're a person. I didn't get to snipe them because they died too quick. Every time. Well, it's just us two. Um. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I don't think I want to be there with you. However. Ooh, I got them. Wait, they're turning things around. What's happening? How do they just go in and just make this happen? We got two kills. I guess one of them just was not watching their bar. They stepped off the point! Why'd they do that? Well. And with that win, we are series level 20. It's actually kind of a fun match. Uh, I did pretty all right. Uh, I kind of bonked a bunch of people. <laughs> I did get a lot of kills. I sure got a lot of assists. Uh, either way, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, it's nice when you just have fun matches like that where you you feel like both sides are, are pretty even. And we ended up winning, but we they, we're not pushing the point very much. And with that, we get the Crimson Framers kit. I, I saw the Azure one. I think they're just the same, but red and blue. Uh, so I'm not too interested in it. Background, yeah, it's just the red backgrounds. For the frame, it's just this little... I mean, it's kind of a cool red background. I, I actually like that one. And the accent, does it have an accent with it? It does. That's kind of cool. We have five more levels to go, and unfortunately, these last five, the amount of XP you need increases by 2,000, which is probably three entire matches uh, worth of Crystalline Conflict. If you if you lose all three, uh, if you win one and lose two, it's, it's three extra matches, uh, which is roughly my rates for things. Uh, in terms of how many matches I've done, I've won 36 matches. I've done 12 frontline matches. I don't think you can tell how many uh, matches you've done in general for Crystalline Conflict. Let me check. Okay, so you can tell. So I, I, I can be held accountable for my win-loss percentage. I win a little bit over half the matches I play, which is good. Just a little bit. It's a 50-50, which is a, kind of about what you expect, I guess. Um, I, it means I am a very average player, which is something I already knew. Either way... Uh, ten, it's not ten, thank god. Five more levels to go of series levels. I'll probably do some front lines in a little bit, probably tomorrow. Um, but I'm just trying to get this done. The I still have like an entire month to get this done, to get this mount, even though, it, again, this is not a mount that is um, counted in terms of... Th this, this mount's going away. This mount's gonna go away, and then it's not gonna be counted for the the sort of series ranking. It's gonna it's no longer gonna be available after this. However, I feel like I would not be. This is something I need to grind anyways, and I feel like if I don't 
put forward the effort to to get a mount before it goes away i mean i'll kick myself a little bit it's nice it's nice to have it not because it's um going to be counted for the series once the uh once it goes away um but because it's just a cool little goal and it's a fun side uh, endeavor i guess while we're going for all of these different uh pvp victory stuff so in episode five when i was going through patch 6.2 i mentioned that the criterion dungeon was something that exists it's kind of a, a souped up version of the variant dungeon we went through and i mentioned that it was going to be a little bit until i got through that just because it requires a little bit better gear requires to know what you're doing a lot more than Varian Dungeon and, and generally at the time when I was going through it everything wasn't really figured out and is much more imposing. Today however is that day I'm getting some help from three folks that have done it before that are in my static that are much more knowledgeable about it than me and uh, I, I had watched guides a little bit ago about it but uh, this was very spur of the moment so during this you can't hear it because I, I don't like to include other people's voices in it unless they're like completely okay with it and I've talked with them beforehand but um, I'm being basically sh I shout called the entire time <laughs> where to go and uh, directed so it was very much like driving a car with no brakes I, I mentioned that a few times afterwards uh, but this is my first swing at doing the Criterion Dungeon uh, the important thing with this is that there is a Sildan Throne mount that you can get from it it is a random drop chance from it or you have to do it 25 times to get it. So we're hoping to get lucky on this. Oh god, that's... I keep forgetting how chunky that is. Get in. What did I do? I got like the tiniest sliver. Why are you drift? Oh. <laughs> what is... <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been dropping it every time. I think I'm slowly getting it, just from seeing it. Oh, hi, I'm gonna come over here and not fuck off. Yeah.
Okay. Nice. Very cool. Nice. I didn't get a mount. This game sucks. Oh, I did get the mount. <laughs> I thought you got it right after the fight. All right. Well, there you go. So I'm going to be honest. This is the day after I got the mount. Uh, I was not expecting to get it on that drop, actually. I was just hanging out with folks. Uh, I wasn't even recording our first go through it. And then I realized there was a distinct chance that either... I mean, that would be my first clear, potentially, if we went well. Or that uh, if I got really lucky, you'd get the mount. Uh, which is what ended up happening. Uh, which I am still kind of blown away by. <laughs> still have no clue how that ended up happening. So, uh, yeah. I... I'm literally just about to release my video where I talk about how it's going to be a while until I get this <laughs> and now we have it. So, um, yeah, I, I appreciate, um, I got a lot of help learning, uh, the mechanics for it and being taught it on the fly and, um, just having, having folks that know what's going on and can and walk you through it and be patient about it was really, really valuable. I, I bumped my head against most of the, <laughs> the mechanics and, and kept forgetting some, some, I was able to do some of like resolve mechanics that were complicated sometimes on the first try. And then I would forget stuff like moving so you don't get frozen by the ice for uh, Silky, for example. Like, I would forget that multiple times. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, we have the uh, we have the throne now because we got extraordinarily lucky. We got it as a drop. Um, I, I'm i not a big fan of, like, the furniture mounts, but um, I, I do look... This is very nice looking. I do like the the patterns on it and the nice gold engravings. It looks, it looks much, much nicer than the other, like, furniture mounts we have. There's a surprising amount of thrones in the game. I think this is the third throne that exists in the game. <laughs> but either way, um, I'm still going to keep doing Criterion. I went into it having knowing nothing about it. I had watched people progging it, but I wasn't like absorbing it or understanding what was happening. But I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, if, if you can get some folks together and give it a swing, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely sketchier when... <laughs> You have the lower eye level, but it's definitely it definitely feels still possible, especially if you've got someone putting out DPS. Uh, but either way, yeah, that is officially our 100th mount. This was not how I expected it was going to be gotten. I actually have a, another mount that I'm planning on getting pretty soon. Um, but yeah, this one was very unexpected, but very cool still. All right, that's going to be the end of the video. Stopping it at 100 mount seems like a good place as any. Um, I did want to mention, if there is anything weird with the video, blame it on the fact that I had to switch from DaVinci Resolve to Vegas Pro. Uh, DaVinci decided it'd be a really funny joke to uh, cache up hundreds of gigabytes of files without telling me and crash my computer. So was not going to deal with that. So I got rid of it and moved on to a different program. But either way, in general, 2022 was really cool because in the short time, in the general span of the year, we only started like in the latter fourth of it. The, the, the span of things we were able to get done in that short amount of time in terms of just learning how to make videos and completionist type stuff. Uh, it was really cool to to see how far we got. And I really want to see this year with which, what, much more time and, and knowing as much about the game now that I know what we can achieve, the kind of the cool stuff we can do and, and what the limit of, of what we can achieve is. So that's what I'm really looking forward to this year and just pushing pushing what I think I'm, I can do and what I'm capable of doing. There's a lot of really cool stuff in the videos on the horizon, uh, which is part of the problem as well. I need to get through the backlog of videos I have. I want stuff to be more... Uh, 
more current as they come out. So I'll be working on that in the near as well. Uh, thank you again all for the support last year and thank you for the continued support this year.